Hey guys, we've been having quite a few questions about um, public private uh, side of the ring, kind of how that works, what it means. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick video that, that describes it as well as possible. Um, I've got on here the ring that I've been wearing as my daily driver. Um, you'll see on, on the, this side there's wood and then on the other side uh, there's a, the, uh, the white finish. So um, the technology is the same on both sides. I can either wear this uh, with the wood side facing up or I can wear it with the uh, white side facing up. Um, now it's up to me which side I choose to be private. So the private side we always recommend is the side of your hand that's kind of like you know the palm of your hand. Um, and the reason for this is that uh, from a security perspective it's much more difficult for somebody to get a a receiver or anything that can read your ring on this side of your hand it's much easier for them to get it on what we class as a public side and like I said the technology is exactly the same on either side so you could use I mean you could have both sides of the ring with private information if you so choose to do that or you could have both sides of the ring with public information um, so for example you could have a Twitter URL on the top and a Facebook URL on the bottom so we'd consider both of those pieces of information public information because they're in the public domain now if you would have a password on the bottom side and the top side we clad a, we'd consider both of those sides uh, private. So, you know, you can use it however you want to use it as far as the top and the bottom. The, the, they're exactly the same uh, technology and they're the same size. Now, in, in the initial designs, the top portion was larger. Um, but what we found with having a larger top portion is that the kind of readability, as we call it, the ability to read it on a phone or a tablet uh, was lesser when we had a larger inlay. And that's just because of the way that uh, antennas work and are designed. So, um, yeah, as far as uh, programming, you program both sides exactly the same. Um, you could use both on a digital door lock. You could use both sides to unlock your phone. Um, that's pretty much as far as public-private. That's pretty much everything you'll need to know. Um, like I say, you can mix it up. So, you know, it's up to you how you choose to use it. Uh, we don't lock you into anything. We don't restrict you. We don't have one side that's encrypted and one side that isn't. You know, both sides perform exactly the same. Um, but it's up to you which side you have as public, which side private. Um, so, like I say, you can have it, you know, whichever way around. If you feel that if you've got a red and black ring and on week one you want to wear uh, red at the top and on week two you want to wear black at the top, well, you can just reprogram the ring. Um, week one you could have the, you know, private information on the black part. And then you could reprogram it uh, when you go into week two and you could have the private information on the top part, on the, on the red part. So, you know, flip it up, mix it up. Um, we don't hold, we don't restrict anything as far as using the rings concerned. So you can have as much fun and play around as much as you want. And uh, that's everything, I think, on public-private. If you've got any questions, let us know. Cheers, guys. Bye.